In this tutorial, we're going to learn what type of components you have in Next.js, what are the differences, and in what situation you want to use them. Go with Floba. Very important topic to cover. So what kind of components we do have in Next.js? So there are two types of components that we have in Next.js. By default, all components are server components, which means that this is basically optimizations of, of this framework. Uh, all components by default get rendered on the server and UI client or browser, however you want to call it, receives less code. So computation majority of computation gets done on the server and less code is being sent to the browser and then uh, your page becomes much faster. But the thing is, uh, sometimes you want to have some interactivity or local state on the client itself. So for example, we're going to show now uh, what if you want to create like local storage uh, state or if you want to use some state that is being uh, shown only on the page but if you refresh your page that state is gone so this is something that uh, browser itself holds uh, you need to use client components and let me show you how it works so let's say that we on a home page we want let's remove this link because we don't need it but let's say that we want to add a button here and for this button let's just say count and we want to create a local state so let's create a constant and we're going to call it a count and we're going to update it using set count. So this is usual, you know, regular use state hook that we use in React. So use state hook from React and we're going to set the default value as zero. We can remove this link on top as well. But what you will see here is if you try to save it, we're going to get an error. The error is because we're trying to use use state hook on the server component. So this is not possible. Uh, you can still have a home page as a server component, but parts of your uh, page can be on the client. So if you want to add some interactivity, you can create a separate component and inject them. So let's do that. Let's remove this from our page and let's remove use state hook here. And now inside of the components folder, let's create a new file and let's name this one as uh, test button.jsx. Let's use our RAFCE shortcut you create test button and here let's create a button so let's create a button and inside of this button uh, we're just going to use count and the count variable which we are going to create that in a second so let's create a count variable and set count function and we're going to use use state hook to obviously handle the state of our functional component and we're going to set the first value to be zero like so, now let's import the test button inside of our page here and below our title, like so, or it can be self-closing tag, like so. Uh, now the issue is that we, again, uh, we actually, we haven't imported uh, import test button, we haven't imported test button component, but now, even now, if I save, we're gonna get the error. The error is, is this is still a server component. How we declare, client component is with this directive use client on top of the file so it's very important to declare that on top of the file now we get our button here but this button is not doing anything because we haven't implemented this set count function so if you use on click on click uh, event we can just use set count and increase just by one so set count count plus one like so and if you save it now uh, and if you click on it, you can see that we are now handling our state. So what is important to know that, as I said, the parts of your page can be a uh, client component and your entire page can be a server component. So use client component only when you want to add some interactivity, but along the course, we're going to use them in different situations and you will uh, learn the, the difference. But this is very important uh, subject and topic to cover before proceeding with this course. And if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.